This is what I was hoping for today. Okay, now the tricky part of uh, trying to get through all these brambles and this old bracken. Well, good morning and welcome back to another video. So today I'm out on a bit of a recce really. I, um, I've actually come back to the location that I filmed my first ever YouTube video. And that was on Dippers and that was two years ago to the day. So I thought I'd come back out and see if we could find some Dippers. That's the first kind of plan. Um, but it's a bit of a recce because sadly, last winter, the nest where I've been photographing these Dippers for a few years, um, it got destroyed in a pretty bad storm. Um, so they built it on the underneath of a branch of a big tree that was kind of overhanging the river. And um, it was there one day, I came back the next to do some photography and it had gone. And uh, well, it's heartbreaking really, to be honest. And I only hope that the dippers managed to build. This was like, this was pretty early in the year last year. So I only hope that the dippers managed to build another nest and have a successful breeding season last year. This was a cracking location. Um, I loved it, it was beautiful. And some of the boulders in the river here just made for really, really nice images. So I'm giving it another go. And that's mostly because later on, I want to go up onto Exmoor and I want to photograph the Exmoor ponies. Um, I've got a plan for some images and I thought it'd be really cool to bring you guys with me. So I'm essentially just gonna be pottering around up and down this river, trying to find some dippers. And hopefully we get lucky because this is a time of year for anybody that's interested where you should be able to find and photograph dippers um, with nesting material in their beaks. And I would say it's probably my favorite time to photograph them. You know, when they're carrying like moss and little twigs and stuff about. Um, yes, it's really nice to have images of them when they're feeding the fledglings, but I do really enjoy these uh, nest building images. So whilst I have got other locations I can go to to photograph dippers, because I want to photograph the ponies later, um, I'm really, really hoping we get some dippers. Now I probably should say, for anyone who's watching this that's booked on for a dipper workshop with me this spring, like, don't worry, this isn't me going out last minute trying to find a location for you guys. I've got four other locations um, that are really, really good for dippers. So it's not that, this is more of a personal mission for me really, just to try and catch up with these dippers. Like I mentioned, I really love this location. Um, means a lot to me as well, because it's where I filmed my first YouTube video. So it's just a personal mission. So if you are coming with me this spring, don't worry, you're gonna have plenty of dippers to photograph. And if you're not coming with me and you'd like to, then um, just drop me a message. I've still got a couple of spaces left for my Derbyshire dipper workshops. And yeah, I've definitely got spaces for the Devon ones because, well, I'm here a lot more now, staying closer to home. So. Uh, if you'd like to join me in either Derbyshire or um, Devon for some dipper workshops, then uh, just drop me a message. So after about 20, 25 minutes of walking upstream, I've just seen my first dipper. So I heard it first and it just came flying downstream, straight past me, um, obviously back in the direction I've just walked from. but. That's a good sign. I'd like to have seen two, but sometimes what you get is you get one sticking around the nest and the other one flies off trying to find nesting material. Then they take it in turns. Um, I'm gonna keep walking upstream a bit, just in case the nest is up that way. I should also stress that 
I'm not trying to get really, really close to a nest here. I thought I heard another one then. Yeah, I'm not trying to get really, really close to a nest here or anything like that. I just want to check on them, see how they're doing. And then it'd be really nice to bring you guys some footage. So I'm going to carry on walking upstream, see if I can see them anywhere. Um, and if not, turn around and head back down that way because maybe I was just a bit too impatient when I was looking around down there. But that's, that's really nice to see. Oh, it's a beautiful day today as well. I've just come out of the woodland where it was nice and uh, dappled light. And now I'm in the shade and uh, still all this frost. It's almost snow actually, but there's all this like frost on the uh, dead bracken. And the contrast of the nice orangey browns and the white frost just looks awesome. The water's really clear. Yeah, it's just one of those perfect, perfect winter days today. In fact, I shouldn't say that, it'll be perfect once we get in front of a dipper. Then even more perfect if we can find some extra ponies. Right, I'm gonna get moving. I think I've done, I've just hit 11,000 steps. So quite a bit of walking already this morning, but it's gonna be worth it. I found a dipper. Um, just a bit further downstream than where I did the last piece of the camera. I walked up for about 20 minutes, saw nothing, decided to walk back. I just found one. It's not that far away, but I can't get level with it at the moment where I am. So what I'm gonna do is try and sneak a little bit closer, see if I can get you guys some footage, just watch it for a bit. And then, then if I can do that, try and get myself in a better position. This is awesome. This is what I was hoping for today. Okay, now the tricky part of uh, trying to get through all these brambles and this old bracken to sneak up on it a bit. Can't see it now. I think it's just behind this tree in front of me. That's why I can't see it. Okay. I want to try and get a bit closer. So that's pretty cool. We've got just one dipper, but that's fine. Um, probably about 50 meters downstream now. Like I mentioned before, the position that I'm in is not very conducive to getting good images in that I was shooting down. There was quite a lot of like branches in the way, but I just wanted to watch it for a bit, kind of understand what it's up to, where it's going. Um, I'm none the wiser. To be honest, it looks like it's just foraging around. I can't see any nesting material. It's not flying up and down. Um, it's just working its way down. So I think, well, I know, I'm going to follow it down, maybe try and get ahead of it and see if it comes towards me. But what a morning already. Got myself in all the brambles now. <laughs> Here we go. I love these birds and it's so nice to kind of come out with a plan and then for that plan to come together. Ah, uh, amazing. There they are, there they are. Oh, yes. Oh, just splashed into the water. Okay, cool. Ah, oh, 
the light, they're in the worst place for the light. Wait till I show you the light here. It's like blinding. So from a stills perspective, I won't even bother trying, but it was a recce and I can come out and try for stills on an overcast day or, oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's perch lovely actually, it's in the shade as well. Okay, I'm gonna try and get you some footage. I'll stop talking. Well, that was just amazing. So I ended up sticking with one of those dippers, following it downstream for a good, I don't know, 20 minutes, about a mile downstream anyway. And it ended up working its way back to the original location where I was photographing that pair two years ago. So um, that was really, really nice to see. And it bodes pretty well for the upcoming breeding season. I managed to get quite a lot of footage. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I'm now going to head off and photograph ponies, so I'll bring you all with me. But I've been out for longer than I thought. I got more footage than I thought I would. So I think I'm going to end this video here and um, we'll head up onto Exmoor National Park now and we'll photograph some ponies. So make sure you're subscribed um, and stay tuned for that video. And um, for those that are subscribed already, thank you very much. I really appreciate all your support. And um, yeah, I'll leave it at that and I'll see you all on the next one.